Howdy my peeps. So today's video is going to be really relaxed and stuff. I don't have any particular thing that I want to talk about. It's going to be really chatty, so I hope you don't mind. But anyway, um, this is a watercolor painting, as you no doubt gathered from the title and the stuff in the video. But anyway, um, I approached this painting with the same mindset that I had last week and if you want to see that video I'll put it somewhere so you can like see what I mean but anyway so last week I was just like I noticed that whenever I draw like a finished thing I don't really I don't really try that hard so I wanted to not do that last week and I didn't do that and I was proud of the thing that I came up with and I thought it was really cool um, so this week I decided to do the same thing and to do a watercolor painting again because I had a lot of fun with that and I liked how it turned out so like why not do it again and I'm drawing the same character again his name is Lentz um, but this time he's holding cats last time what was he doing oh, last time he was crying and holding the phone but this week he's holding cats and happy so He's done a, a complete 180 here, and he's no longer crying. So um, that's good. He's in a good place today. So that's all those things are nice. But anyway, um, so back to the painting. Um, this was I don't know. It's just like whenever I do watercolor stuff, I just zone out and I get like it's like calming. So, like, if you're, like, stressed or whatever, maybe consider doing your watercolor painting and, like, zoning out where you don't it because it's really fun, and I don't really remember anything that happened while I was painting this, which is kind of odd because I just finished maybe a couple hours ago, so I don't know where my memories went, but, um, I'll see if I can try to salvage something. Um, okay, so how I came up with this idea um, on my Pinterest, which if you ever want to see like references and stuff that I save, you can go there. There's a link in the description, I think. Anyway, um, there's this picture that I saved of this lady holding like a whole bunch of wombats. And I know that's super random, but like this picture is amazing. I'm gonna put it up on the screen so you can see this because this is like as soon as I saw this I was just like I have to I have to um, it is my destiny I must draw something that is just capture the spirit of this image because this this picture is phenomenal so that's the inspiration behind this picture um, but the lady she's holding wombats and this character, Lentz, he would never be in a situation where he would need or be able to hold wombats. So, that just wasn't going to work. I couldn't use the, the reference as it was. I had to change things. So, instead of wombats, he's holding cats. Um, because that just makes more sense. Because why would he be holding wombats? It just, it just doesn't make any sense. So, instead, he's holding cats. And... That was, it was a bit challenging I, to put the cats in there. The sketching process was a bit challenging because it's just like, how do these cats work? How do cats work? How do, how do you hold cats like this? Like, how do you have like a bunch of cats in your arms and they just like not just like fall <laughs> to the ground or something? So in the sketch, the way I fix this is I kind of like put his legs in the frame so that like if a cat fell it would just fall on his legs but when I blew the picture up and printed it out and stuff um, I cropped out his legs so I had to come up with a different solution but my solution to that was just to for, for everyone to just assume that cats don't follow the laws of our universe and that cats they don't care about the laws of like gravity and stuff and that cats they do what they want <laughs> so none of this probably makes any sense like the way the cats are positioned it it's it probably doesn't make any sense like the cat in the middle i have no idea where its left paw is i don't know 
it's like it's fluffy but also kind of chunky so it's just like where's the other paw where does it fit in there I don't really know I'm just being honest here I have no idea what what is going on with these cats but I think it's cute <laughs> my favorite cat is the black cat with the derpy eyes and that cat has a name that cat's name is Kitty because that's super um, creative <laughs> um, and these other cats they are just random cats, but that's that the black cat is the only cat that I've drawn several times and is the cat's not important to the story or anything, but I mean it's the cat that's in the story. So there's that. Um, also the colors for this piece, I wanted to make sure that everything was um, cohesive. Um, I swallowed really loud. I hope you couldn't hear that. Why am I bringing it up anyway? So I wanted the palette to be something nice and cohesive because usually I don't really plan out my colors I just sit down and do something and I didn't want to do that this time I wanted to put more effort into it which is the whole theme of last week's video and I guess this week's kind of I don't know so I went on Pinterest and I found a color palette that suited my fancy and I felt would do well in this painting um, and I chose one that was like um, oranges and green and grays which made sense because cats and also his skin is on the or orangey side a little bit not too orange not cheeto orange but just like he has a his skin is like a warm brown kind of thing going on so it just made sense to have a palette that would include that orange but also something that contrasts with the orange so the green and also the gray I, it just it looks nice to get those colors um if you have trouble coming up with colors for your paintings and such i do recommend going to pinterest just i mean not just pinterest you can just like google like if you're looking for a specific color palette like with this one i wanted something green and orange so you can just like google green and orange color palette and you'll get get results of like colors that go with green and orange and you could just pick one that works for you it's just a really nice resource and i use it a lot and i like it but anyway um this drawing well painting i really like how it turned out i think it's really cute even though the cats don't obey any laws of gravity or anything like that but it, it's fine it's fine i also like how just the the painterliness of it it's not like super painterly and there are lines and stuff but i just like the textures that i got from the watercolors especially on the striped cat i think it looks it just looks really nice also lince's teeth i did like something with his teeth um well i just made his bottom teeth a little crooked which is something i did in a painting a little while ago but I haven't uploaded that video yet so um anyway um <laughs> but it, we'll, we'll get to that video and that painting in some other time anyway this is how the painting turned out I really like it I think it's cute and anyway um I hope you like this video and I hope you like the painting if you like to support me in my artwork you can head over to my coffee page or you can head over to my threatless shop where you can get t-shirts and stuff or if you don't want to do that you can also um Follow me on Instagram or subscribe to my channel if you want to. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, my peeps.